Hi everybody, Deborah Dickinson here, Bandit back there. <laughs> thank you for joining up my channel and thank you all for being so patient with me um, this last week and since my meetup and you guys have just been wonderful and I want to thank you. But today I am wanting to talk about a video that went up eight days ago on uh, driving and vibing. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, you know, I, I just, I am refuting this because I don't want misinformation sitting out there. And I just thought it was ridiculous. And I think that they are big enough, a, a big enough channel that they owe uh, better justice of, on putting information out there uh, rather than doing it that way and just being so biased and it cracked me up because he says I'm not trying to be controversial yes you were I, I don't know what else you would call it when you put up something that's so slanted and so wrong and I'm going to tell you why I think it was wrong and why I disagree okay and the wind is really blowing today so I hope that you can hear me but uh, they said that in uh, five years they've probably been six months total in court site well this is my seventh year here and i have been here a lot more than six months total and it doesn't mean like they said that i am a court site addict by any means if y'all follow my channel you know better than that but let me go over some of the things they said that were just wrong 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 and i'll tell you why i disagree well first of all they said uh you know that there's a, a lot more to do than one month here in um Quartzite. Well, it's not, I'm here, I'm in the Quartzite area now, and it's beautiful, and you don't have to be here for just the month of January when the big tent is in progress, and I'm going to go over some things that there are to do that have nothing to do with the big tent. Okay, so they said, here are some of the reasons. They said the crowds are just awful, and you can't go anywhere to get away from them. Um, driving and vibing, do you see the crowds? I'm sorry, but I'm just outside Quartzite. And I'm not seeing a whole bunch of crowds here for as far as I can see. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. But that is wrong, wrong, wrong. Every year I can find plenty of places where I can go and get away from people and be this remote if I want to be. They said it's the smaller, smallest town without barely any amenities. Why go to the local grocery store and fight for a loaf of bread or bad produce or a dozen eggs? First of all, how rude um and maybe you've gone there and there's been bad bad protos but um <laughs> you know we just passed um what was it uh small business saturday what is wrong with supporting small businesses and yes it gets crowded but so what and no amenities uh one of the best laundromats that i've ever been to is here and uh just 30 miles away there's two more laundromats and in fact just less than probably 35 miles away there's another laundromat so even in town it has one there's two laundromats here in quartzite and one of them is one of the best ones i've ever been to and the grocery store, those people go out of their way to help people and to be present for people and provide, and they even have a local butcher and I just, they go out of their way. And I am proud to support small businesses when I can. And if you don't like that grocery store, then in town there are grocery vendors. You don't have to wait for the big tent, they're here now. So go get whatever you want and get it at, at, at wholesale if you want at one of the vendors. And again, if you don't like that, go to the superstore Walmart that's like I said 30 miles away in Parker so um, you know that that just putting that out there like that's your only option was just wrong and again I don't mind um, supporting small businesses so let me change my page um, so and uh, also they said that there there's nothing here in this town and I'm gonna go over more of that here at the end of what all that there is that you can do and then they like and there's so many rangers because people are abusing it. There's more and more and more and more and more rangers. No, there's not. Call the Yuma field office and verify that. You don't need to take my word for it or theirs. Call and get your own dang information. But there are not more rangers. They're not funded for more rangers. They wish they had more rangers. Uh, but between the Havasu City uh, Ranger Office and the Yuma Field District Office, no, they call and verify. They do not have more rangers. Uh, that is a problem nationwide. And as far as people abusing the land, I honestly don't see that out here either. And on top of that, for the winter months, uh, especially for January, 
Um, I, I have been told uh, by the lead ranger at the Yuma field office that they have a legislative variance for this area only for crowds. Um, and so they, they, they handle things a little differently because it does get so inundated. And back in the day, there used to be probably a million to a million and a half people that wintered here, but it is not the case anymore. And, and this area is hurting and to tell people to stay away from it is just wrong. Are there crowds and is it gonna get even more crowded in January? Yes, but I can guarantee you, I can come back out here to places like this, even in January and find solitude. So that is uh, just wrong. Um, and also, right now, I happen to be on extended stay. They said there's no privacy even on extended stay. Again, hello, I'm, I'm sorry, I got caught up in the tree that I'm standing by. There is tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of privacy, especially on the extended stay. Maybe not right when you pull off of 95 right off the highway, but there is tons of um, um, pri uh, privacy to be had. And then they said the better places to be, okay? And that's just a personal opinion. Again, when you have a large channel and you're putting information like that out there, it, I think it's on you to be more responsible. If you're gonna say something like that, give accurate information. Um, they said that uh, go to Yuma and go to AGM Road. It's tons of spaces and it's awesome. I'm sorry, I camped on Yuma. I mean, I camped on AGM Road twice now uh, with friends. Uh, for several weeks, uh, at a, uh, not at a time, but uh, for probably three weeks. Two weeks the first time and a week of uh, the second year. And it's dusty, it's loud, you can't get away from people. You might camp 500 yards away like they're saying, but it's all open and there's no privacy and the ATVs out there are so disrespectful, it's insane. Now I'm not saying if you're on AGM Road and you have an ATV that you're being disrespectful, but I had them, I had them literally just going by and, and whizzing around and, and I have friends that have ATVs and y'all seen me on my channel on uh, side by sides and um, and so I have nothing against them. I just say that out there it's ridiculous and between the water tower and I-10 and uh, the road that leads and that road that goes to AGM uh, down, uh, it depends on which way you go if you come in I-10, but either way, it's just bumpy, it's horrible. And so, no, it's a personal preference, but at least give accurate information. Bandit, he, he, he loves to just get in there and see what's in the bushes. And I have my leash right here with me. Y'all don't need to tell me about him being off leash. It is he and I and Jana and Sammy are right over there. And so we're just fine. But, uh, and I don't want to keep this going too long, but uh, let me see. Um, oh, and then they said go to Lake Havasu City. There are a, there's a lot of free camping. No, there's not. The state trust land is even uh, 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 not open right now. And then they said, you know, before and after Havasu City, there's camping. Well, there's Craigie Wash, which, which is packed like, a, like a sardines in there. And then, um, at least, and especially as winter goes on, or you can camp right off the highway, and uh, I just can't do that kind of noise. So Havasu City is a wonderful place to go, and again, you can camp in Quartzsite and run up to Havasu City if you want to for two or three nights, or even for a day trip, and do what you want to do. Um, and yes, they have more amenities and everything, and they have the lake there. And y'all have seen my videos where we go across on the other side and uh, from. Uh, Havasu City and go on the Colorado. So I love the area, but I'm just saying it, uh, you know, and they say, and they showed these pictures of people on their ATVs out in the wide open. Well, Aja and I on it went in her side by side the first time she had a passenger. And thank you again, Pandemonium, for taking me on that trip. We went through Havasu City and, and, and did the trails and everything. And they're not wide open spaces like that. And you have to slow down to go by camps and everything. So it's not the, the uh, freeborn type. Oh, look, speaking of ATVs, here comes somebody. I don't know if y'all can see them. Okay, there they go. But and I'm camped where I am way out and I'm not near the road and it's not right up in my face like it is in Havasu City or on American Girl Mine Road. And and it's just awesomeness here. Uh, so again, I am not I'm making sure I'm looking at my notes right. I am not a quartzite addict. I just wanted to counter what they said and tell you some of the positives. 
um, you know, in the winter as uh, nomads, we don't have a lot of choices of where to go if you're going to boondock. Now, if you're going to hook up and, and have AC or heat as needed, it doesn't matter. But if you're going to boondock, and there's not that many places, but uh, the only places you can really go for good weather in the winter is Florida, and boondocking is really hard down there, if not if not impossible. South Texas, it, again, it's you can find it, but it's rare. In uh, uh, Southwest Arizona, which we all are talking about now, Baja, Mexico, that type thing. And so the, you're cho limited in choices, and I just wanted to say, uh, be open to a different opinion, and uh, check out facts anytime, including me, anybody tells you anything, do your own research. Uh, so, um, and there's a ton, there's tons to do here in Quartzsite. Oh, I do have another page. Hold on. I'm hurrying. I know this is running long. It's unedited and you're going to get what you get because my videos are unedited and, um, thank y'all. And, um, and, um, so anyway, let me hurry. So December 11th, there's the parade of lights for Christmas. Uh, there's outdoor concerts, there's live music, there's howling at the moon, not to mention that you can get together with your friends uh, because they do have that legislative variance. You still have to follow the rules, laws, regulations, and recommendations. If you're not into all of that and dancing and music and all of that, I mean, and not to mention the vendors that are here in Quartzsite, you don't have to wait for the big tent, but there's a, a quilt club and a gym club and a metal detecting club, and they all want people to join them for the winter. They open it up and they say, come on and join us and so there's all kinds of things to do so anyway um, that was a controversial video that you put up whether you wanted it to be or not and I hope that this gives some people an alter alternative and I'll be writing more about it on patreon you can join me there for as little as a dollar a month and otherwise no matter what I'll see you down the road keep on keeping on bye bye now